Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Starscaper and uh, I'm Jeroen. Today I'm with Martijn and we just hiked up this Hornisgrunde mountain to shoot the Milky Way here tonight on this mountain plateau. So let's check some various compositions there. It looks pretty cool here. So we are now uh, trying to work out some compositions with this uh, tower. Yeah, the tower uh, is uh, yeah, at a bit of a weird angle uh, to make a good composition uh, with the Milky Way. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, let the Milky Way um, come through the tower or uh, yeah, if we go this way, we have a, an ugly gravel road. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's a bit tricky, but uh, this tower has to be included because it's pretty nice. found some various compositions at the tower but we are not totally convinced that these are the best compositions here we can find so uh, we're going to scout a bit further. What's also happening in the meantime is you can see those clouds there in the west southwest they seem to be forming because before they pass over this mountain range. Uh, they weren't forecasted, so yeah, they're working a bit on our nerves. What do you think, Martijn? Yeah, it's kind of nerve-breaking, but uh, let's see uh, what, what else the is new. Brings, right? <laughs> yeah. We've got uh, four hours left or something, five hours. So now we're here anyway. So uh, let's uh, check out some further compositions. So we've now uh, found another lookout tower, it's called the uh, Bismarck Turm. It's uh, totally made for, from stone, so maybe we can even set our trackers up there uh, this evening. Yeah, my time was uh, checking out some compositions, maybe with uh, yeah, some of the flower beds which, uh, which you can see here. But yeah, the wind's picking up uh, quite strongly and there's also clouds coming in, so as you can see. So uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed and uh, maybe we inc can include uh, a composition of this tower here tonight. So, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool so far. So I have no idea if the uh, microphone is picking this up, but uh, yeah, we, uh, I thought it might be a pretty cool idea maybe to set the camera a little bit further that way. And if I can stand here myself and then make a 50 millimeter shot, that would look pretty cool. So we have found another path, it's a wooden path and I like wooden paths. Uh, it's uh, not exactly leading into the Milky Way, but it's more to the south. The Milky Way will be a bit in the south-southwest, but it will be a bit to the right. I think this will work pretty well. Uh, maybe it's a bit too boring if you put nobody in, in the shot, so uh, maybe Martijn or uh, myself uh, can stand somewhere here on the path and uh, we will add some interest. <laughs> I think at least that's interesting. We have arrived at another location here. It's about 10 minutes walk uh, from the other towers, etc. The uh, wooden paths, and it is pretty cool. We have some, uh, yeah, we have a little dead tree there. You know, I love dead trees. Uh, we have some rocks. Uh, Martijn is uh, checking some cool compositions out right there. And uh, yeah, the heather is also blooming here already, which uh, is very early. In the Netherlands it's uh, only in uh, late August, but here they have heather apparently, uh, <laughs> which is already blooming. So that also might give a bit of color. So yeah, I'm pretty optimistic. It's also, uh, if you look to the south, southwest, it's also getting clearer. So uh, we have good hopes. <laughs> There's a restaurant up here and they also have a uh, pretty convenient road here with a nice view to the hotel down at the Mummelsee. I think we can uh, put up our trackers here pretty easily. And uh, yeah, while uh, we are waiting for the sun to set. Right there, beautiful. I think uh, we will make a plan for the night. Just. Uh, Wow, that sunset is insane. I think I'm going to shoot the sunset now. <laughs> The 
sun has set, blue hour has come. We already uh, see uh, yeah, the brighter planets, Venus for example, we see rising there. And uh, yeah, we are starting to shoot our first uh, foregrounds. Uh, there's a uh, hotel down here and, and we thought if we shoot it in blue hour we can handle the contrast in the uh, light and dark better because uh, yeah, there are some pretty bright, uh, bright spots. So yeah, that's uh, where we'll start. And uh, what's next on the plan, Martijn? Uh, yeah, preparing for the Milky Way, I guess. Yeah. Or maybe check if we can do some other shots already. But how many comps do you have, more or less? Pooh, four, five. Yeah. Yeah, same for me. I think I have six or seven, but <laughs> yeah, I still need to decide. Uh, oh man, this tripod's getting heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so we'll uh, set up the star trackers here first, I think. Uh, shoot also the foregrounds here during blue hour and then uh, yeah, we'll just make a uh, round of a couple of kilometers and shoot the compositions uh, we found earlier. And uh, yeah, if it remains clear, we'll have a beautiful night, I think. Uh, it looks good, so uh, our energy is getting a bit back. <laughs> <laughs> While we watched the last clouds disappear, we got ready for the night ahead. We're just uh, trying to align ourselves <laughs> because yeah we have some lights left and right and uh, some trees on the horizon but uh, yeah, I think we will be more than fine here and uh, if we need to we'll uh, just reposition a couple of meters. We even have two benches left and right of us so that is becoming a really relaxed night. <laughs> So it is absolutely clear. It's, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. We can see the Milky Way again with our naked eye, the whole arch over us. Um, yeah, the core is in the darker spot uh, on the horizon, so that's excellent. A uh, row of Yuki is uh, beautifully visible. And uh, yeah, we didn't have to worry about the clouds at all. <laughs> yeah, our second stack is now shooting. Uh, I am shooting a second uh, 50 millimeter stack. Uh, I have also found two compositions for a 24 millimeter and two compositions for a 14 millimeter. And uh, yeah, if it uh, goes according to plan, I'll be ready in an hour to shoot some foregrounds. Uh, so uh, good evening, it's a good night. Good, 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 good. I didn't even notice it on location, but we got treated with an insane amount of green airglow. So we're now we're going to shoot the larger tower. Uh, Martijn uh, has shot it on 50 millimeters. I think I'm going to shoot it at 24 millimeters. A bit further down the road, there's a yeah. It creates a nice leading line into the tower, and uh, yeah, the Milky Way is uh, just to the right of it. So uh, excellent stuff. That. That's our old friend, the ISS. The International Space Station is coming over. There's Cassiopeia on the right. Beautiful. I'm now setting up my camera here uh, at uh, 50 millimeters uh, and we're going to climb in the tower. And I think we, are, uh, we will silhouette ourselves on the top of the tower. And uh, yeah, the Milky Way is uh, right now exactly in the middle of the frame, so uh, I think that would look pretty good. Just a simple composition, but uh, yeah, pretty effective. Walking past the tower, we noticed the north side of the Milky Way framing up beautifully. I quickly grabbed a single shot with my Fuji. Can you hear the wind noise that the windmill is making? The thing's going so fast. <laughs> Bizarre. Now uh, working on the composition uh, on the path. The Milky Way is just a bit to the right of the path. Um, 
which is fine. I'm uh, putting the path uh, on purpose a bit on, on, on the left. It would be great if the Milky Way was centered, but uh, yeah, that's just not the case. So we uh, are working with what we get here. So uh, let's make a test shot and then see how that comes out. At a very high ISO. And am I happy with the composition? Yeah, it's not the best composition ever, but I think it's a good atmospheric shot. So uh, let's work on this and uh, we go further down. Back at the stones, Martijn is uh, checking his composition. I think we both uh, have the same composition in mind. Oh, I'll put out my light, see how that goes. Well, it's uh, not easy uh, finding a composition here, to be honest. Uh, there are a lot of stones, uh, but it's a bit messy all. Um, Beautiful location. I'm not sure if we are, we are going to make a brilliant photo here, but uh, yeah, we'll keep on trying and uh, after that we'll go to, the, uh, to a little abandoned house, which I haven't vlogged yet, I think. And uh, maybe we'll add some light painting there. So uh, yeah, still crystal clear. So yeah, we couldn't wish for a better night than this. So uh, <laughs> we're so lucky again. Wow. sure if you can see that that little dot that's the moon it actually is bigger in real life than it looks on the camera because it's a very wide angle lens I'm filming with but uh, yeah nice to see Alright, so uh, after I think spending about 12 hours on this mountain, we are tired but super satisfied. <laughs> because uh, yeah, I think it's uh, been clear the whole night. Uh, we have been able to shoot uh, all the compositions we found during the scout. And uh, yeah, it's still pretty clear. You can see the moon rising. We have seen Pleiades rising, so winter is coming somewhere. <laughs> also looking forward to that, but for now, uh, yeah, I think it was a brilliant Milky Way shoot, right? Yeah, yeah, it, w it was perfect. Yeah. yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect again. <laughs> again. But luckily after all the stress of having yeah. clouds all the day. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's extra sweet then, you know. <laughs> yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. We have uh, another day. Maybe we'll go to France. There's a big storm front uh, passing over. So yeah, we'll see uh, how that goes. Anyway, whatever happens, I think we are very happy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> And see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.